China is different from other countries in the world in defining towns. In China, some look like modern cities, some look like tourist attractions, and others are featured with the village scene. In the film, we will introduce several Chinese-style small towns, as well as people living there to you. Let's share what we have heard and seen in Chinese towns. In this episode, we will have a look at the life of the residents in small towns. Although these places are called small towns, they are as well equipped and multifunctional as cities. We will concentrate on the following subjects. How they treat the seniors and children. How they manage their own communities. How they live a better and happier life after they get rich. First of all, I will introduce Mr. Liu from Kechao. His job is rather peculiar. Every day he wanders around the city and shoots some trifles by his mobile telephone, such as someone has taken away the manhole cover. What's more, he also records the detailed address and sends out the video through wireless network. In Kechao, there are 86 workers like Mr. Liu called as information collectors, and their daily routine is to survey around the city. No matter how serious the problem is, they will shoot the problem and send it back to the digital center. The workers in the digital center will contact related departments to solve the problem concertedly once they are informed of the problem. 这边的话是一个登记栏，就采集员刚刚上报的一个问题。我们一般都是看一下它的原警和进警，然后看它描述是否正确。那这边我们可以看一下它的定位是准确的。那像这样的话，我们就可以给予立案。那现在这条案卷
。啊，现在他说要跟我离婚呢，他说要给一半的财产给他。按照法律规定呢，夫妻双方的财产是夫妻双方共有、共同拥有的财产。关于那财产分配呢，你们共同协商。Even if the neighbors have quarrels, they can come here to make complaints. The daily routine for these institutions is to execute various procedures for enterprises and individuals. The service center is responsible for all welfare and subsidy, such as distributing chemical fertilizers free of charge. However, service-oriented management institutions are not enough to solve all problems after urbanization. In the primary development of many small towns, the transformation of traditional lifestyle represents a prominent conflict. The scene we see in Wanchuan, Sichuan, is a little different from that in cities. However, just in the past few years, the local residents felt very uncomfortable when they moved into the new buildings. The living habits and ideology in rural areas remained in their minds. During all festivals, there were always events, neither serious nor trivial, that caused the local government a lot of trouble. We in Pengdu Pingyuan, is when the village people have some habits. If they encounter some good things, they like to have a party at the house of their grandfather. Courtyard banquet is one important custom. The countrymen who just moved into the communities still are sentimentally attached to the traditional life. So they bring the traditional customs, such as courtyard banquet, into the town. However, how can they set up pot and stove, lay tables and chairs and have a grand banquet in such beautiful and tidy communities, just in a way they have in the rural areas? 怎么摆呢？他就架了一个大锅，就在那个道路的中间就开始办起八百宴，把那个刚修好的一一些路啊，就烧成一些非常大的一些洞。So the government sent someone to patiently explain the function of public facilities to the residents, and called on all the residents to protect community sanitation and community environment. After years of guide and persuasion, the residents in the communities have almost adapted to the life of urban residents. When the life gets better, the immediately following problem is the deep-seated social problem. The difference between urban and rural areas is not just reflected by the change of the lifestyles. The so-called problem about the seniors and children, how to make the seniors get cared for and make the young learn something, represents a big task facing most small towns in their development in China. In the film Small Towns, we find there is a measure prevailing that one who is aged 60 or more will be subsidized by the government per month in certain amount to support the life. At the same time, medical insurance and pension insurance system are generally improved. In Tongjiwan, pension insurance is partially contributed by governmental subsidy. 
呃，也是比较大的。我们去年有个有个数据啊，我们整个政府的财政收入啊，我们高唐家湾镇啊，呃，零八年的财政收入是三点七个亿，嗯，但是我们在民生方面的投入一达到一点二个亿。一点二个亿，差不多赚了我们民我们这个三分之一的三分之一的这个这个水平，那么这个比例也是应该比较高的。We have shot rest homes that are established by local residents in Wanzai and Luodai. 然我们被告知，他们全部到城市去玩。Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. After people become affluent, the first consideration for Chinese people is education. The town governments in all areas are devoted to improving the condition of the schools. Luodai Middle School was initially founded in 1956, but the current appearance is newly formed in the 21st century. The governments at different levels invested tens of millions of yuan, totally to reconstruct Luodai Middle School. The primary school in Wanzai town is famous in the whole province, where the facilities are much modernized, and the teaching conception is also advanced and computer courseware is used in all the primary courses. Many teachers from other areas want to work here because the salary of the teacher granted by the Wansai government is very attractive with monthly average salary up to 8,000 yuan. Wangchuan people have a special originality in the care for children. This teen space is specially prepared for children after school, since their parents are still at work during that period. The volunteers in the community come here to tutor the children to carry out different kinds of interesting activities. Psychological consultancy for teenagers is specially provided in the teen space, where professional psychological consultants are invited to answer the doubts for children two days a week. The women in Meijiawu of Zhejiang are practicing tea picking dance in order to take part in the National Day celebration. This dance is a traditional program in Wujiafeng, which is a little famous in the surrounding areas. However, in the past, when the life was tough, the so-called problem about the seniors and children, how to make the seniors get cared for and make the young learn something, 
represents a big task facing most small towns in their development in China. <音>你说都五十多岁的人在笑得多灿烂啊你说跳起来跟小姑娘一样的跳起来说明就是这个日子好了大家心情都不一样我们这种四五十岁的人去学电脑啊学茶艺表演啊茶道啊这些都是那都
construction of new village for peasants immensely enhances the peasants in Puyuan to work in the secondary and tertiary industries. By the end of 2008, 84% labor force of villages in Puyuan town has been working in the secondary and tertiary industries, and two-thirds net income per peasant is from the second and tertiary industries. Xiang 这里以前跟那边一样的都是一片农田现在建成连排别墅以后我们都住在这里了我们自己也想不到会住这么漂亮的房子这么漂亮的别墅生活比以前确实提高了很多很多城里人都很羡慕我们现在我还觉得比他们好多了小桥流水啊水泥路啊花坛景处啊那么都有的真的很好的With single land share dividend, income per rural family in the new village is around 30,000 yuan. Over 70% peasants in the new village have their own family cars. And everyone has joined the cooperative medical insurance system. <laughs> Meanwhile, some entrepreneurs have finished the industrial primitive accumulation and started to feed back to the village. Mr. Juen Senlin, who starts success from woolen sweater business, is interested in aloe industry in these years and he has invested to construct an aloe beverage plant. He signs the purchase and sales contracts with the local peasants, securing the perennial purchase of fresh aloe leaves produced by peasants. The materials for beverage company is secured, and peasants' income is increased too. So the model industry promotes agriculture has accomplished the win-win situation for peasant and enterprise. Several decades ago, the town was quiet and closed. And although the self-sufficient traditional life was idle, it lacked vitality. As long as young people living in small town have the chance, they would choose to leave their hometown and go to seek opportunity in big cities. However, several decades has passed, and now, in northern and southern towns, we find that there are non-native population everywhere. The small towns have become a new driver of employment, and the young people do not blindly surge to big cities any longer. Prosperous rural tourism in Mejiawu has attracted dozens of college graduates from other places. Ms. Jujing is a girl who comes from Hangzhou and has worked as a tour guide for four years. She is very satisfied with the job, as she can take advantage of her English major education to be friend with many foreigners. Um 
，从城里面到这里啊，感觉不出有什么距离，所以在这边工作很开心，也实现了自己的价值。Such story does not belong to Mejiawu. Keqiao Textile City in Zhejiang has been the hot business for young people to join. Ms. Chen Huilin is a member of this family business, who has studied in the UK and returned home after her graduation. The return of new force with studying and traveling abroad experience has brought new ideas and concepts to this family business. Now concept talent has deeply rooted among people in the town, and seclusion is no longer a synonym of the town. 像现在的话，我们都是以公司化经营，然后就每年都会招聘很多新人业务员，然后就是说各方面他们，像他们的学历要求啊，本身的学历要求，然后就是工作经验各方面都很重要，然后就越来越规模化。It takes time for the integration of the traditional and modern, but in Zhejiang, which is famous for its grassroots economy. The elder generation of entrepreneurs has accepted such integration with an open mind. Like 这个创新型的经营服务，已经推动了我们青纺城的提升发展，并带动了我们刷新纺织产业的转型升级。那么，所以我们在金融危机下，呃，我们的纺织产业是全县十大产业里面最先回暖的。Sure, today's small towns are no longer the only paradise of entrepreneurs. And everybody can find a chance to realize dreams here. Ms. Han is a native in Keqiao, and she has come back to her hometown after her graduation, passed the civil service exam, and got the first place. Ms. Han's family is rich, and for young people like her, although the life in the big city of Hangzhou is attractive, the well-being indicator of life in Keqiao is greater from the comprehensive comparison. In Hangzhou, the quality is better, but in Hangzhou, the price is more high. In comparison, I think it's good here too. For the generations of the small town, life changes have brought especially strong impressions to them. In Wanchuan of Sichuan, Mr. Li Chuanjiang, whose annual income is three to five hundred thousand yuan, with fixed assets conservatively estimated three million yuan, modestly told us he was just a peasant. However, compared with the past, his life has greatly changed. 以前没有搬迁，可能一年就是几千块钱，维持温饱。小孩上学都还恼火，现在情况比城里好，居住条件没得区别，呃，而且环境比较好，工作也很轻松，呃，而且我们在保障也比较好，因为土地有收入，铺面有收入，呃，医疗保险都有，跟城里没有什么区别了。Of course, the difference between urban and rural areas is the serious challenge faced in China, and we cannot tell in a short time whether the construction of small towns can bring the complete transformation and lead China to gear into a featured path to modernization.
This is a subject of both hope and challenge, involving the future of more than one billion people, and especially of 800 million peasants. Anyway, on the rough road to modernization of China, people across China are creating their own happiness by their own means. Their optimism and diligence are the best answers to their future. Their optimism and diligence are the best answers to their future.